distinguished guests, the President of the Republic of Kenya. Thank you. President Joe Biden, Dr. Jill Biden, Madam Vice President, distinguished la ladies and gentlemen, Jumbo. Let me take this opportunity in a very special way to bring you warm greetings from the people, the government of Kenya, and your brothers and sisters across the African continent. I want to thank President Biden for extending an invitation to me to undertake this state visit as a sign of friendship and partnership and collaboration between two countries that share common values, values of freedom, democracy, rule of law, equality, and inclusivity. We are very proud democratic nation. And today, as we celebrate our past, we are optimistic about our future. That I, by undertaking this dead visit, we will have the opportunity to discuss and to have a conversation about building global partnership and leadership around the issues that pose challenges regionally, globally, and in countries like Kenya and many others. Challenges of climate change, challenges of insecurity, challenges around debt distress. And today we have an occasion to build synergies, to build partnerships that will not only solve our current problems, but also to build a future that is much more promising, much more pro prosperous, a fairer, a freer, a healthier, and a much more prosperous future. I am confident I am confident, Mr. President, that the partnership between the United States of America and Kenya will give us the solutions that the world so seriously needs. And we will be discussing a range of issues from peace and security in our region, recognizing the heavy lifting Kenya is doing in supporting peace and security efforts in the Horn of Africa, in the Great Lakes region. And I want to say, Mr. President, we value the support, the friendship, and the collaboration the United States has given Kenya and our region to make sure that we undertake our responsibilities in securing our region. <clears throat> Mr. President, we will also be having the opportunity to discuss the investment opportunities, trade, and hopefully we will be able to persuade the United States to renew the Africa Growth and Opportunities Act that gives Africa the opportunity for access to markets so that we can create more jobs, we can create more wealth, and we can spread prosperity across our continent. And hopefully also we will conclude on our strategic partnership on uh, our strategic trade and investment partnership that will give us the opportunity in Kenya to work with companies in the United States and to build greater synergy around our continent on matters to do with trade, investment, especially as we put together the Africa Continental Free Trade Area and twin it with the United States, as we discussed at the Africa Leaders Summit last year, giving us an opportunity to build greater partnership between the continent of Africa and the United States. Mr. President, I know that our menu of discussion 
is broad and wide. And I am confident that under your leadership, we will be able to build a freer, a healthier, and a much more prosperous Kenya, United States, and for people around the world. Thank you very much.